Hello again, it's Groovy Q and welcome back. Today we are doing taco shop salsa. It is amazing. Here in San Diego, you have a ton of amazing taco shops. Each one has their own little salsa. Some are better than others. I think mine's pretty good. So let's get to it. Uh, this is gonna be a dried chili based salsa, not your normal fresh pico de gallo with you know tomatoes or something like that. This we're using dried guajillo peppers. This is just gonna add an amazing flavor to it. Uh, not a lot of heat with these. So because of that, we're gonna add some of these chili darbles. Uh, we got 15 of these going in. We got about six of these going in. It's really not a hot salsa. Uh, it's got just a little bit of kick to it, but nothing, my, my wife doesn't like hot stuff and she loves this stuff. So uh, that's gonna be the base for the chilies. Also we're throwing in some tomatillos, which is kind of like a green tomato looking thing. It's got this weird paper husk on it. All you gotta really do is just take off this husk, kind of like so, and you got this little guy, all right? So the husk comes off. We're gonna boil these for about 10 minutes until they turn like a nice dark green. And uh, the other thing is these are kind of sticky. Once you take the husk off, you're gonna wanna rinse them before you throw them in. Uh, to go along with that, we are gonna roast in a skillet half an onion and four cloves of garlic in the husk. Uh, just We can dehusk it after it's roasted, but it adds a little bit more flavor. Once everything is assembled, we're gonna throw it all in a food processor and just blend it until it is like a pulp. Once that happens, we're gonna throw in a bushel of cilantro and the juice of one lime, as well as two tablespoons of pink Himalayan salt. Uh, we're also gonna throw a couple of spoons of the reconstituted chili pepper water. So let's show you how to do this because obviously these are, you know, can't use this for anything. So we need to reconstitute this in hot water. So basically what we do is we bring a pot of water basically to boiling and then shut it off, throw the chilies in. We'll just let them sit for about 20, 30 minutes. Let's go get this going. All right, so here we are. We've got the first set of things to go on are the onion and garlic. So those are gonna go on the skillet here. Uh, we're just gonna throw it on a dry skillet, kind of let it do its thing. We've got this on medium high already heated up and uh, that way it should get some nice browning going and the garlic will go in just as as well uh, I apologize if it's a little loud apparently my vent fan has an automatic feature that I can't turn off so it gets a little high here we're gonna throw the tomatillos in they've been rinsed and washed and uh, this is boiling they're gonna go from this nice bright green color to like kind of more of an olive drab green and it'll be about 15 minutes for that to take place so those are in, and the last step is the chilies. So, like I said, these are dry. We brought this up to a boil base right before it started boiling and then turned it off. So you just have a really nice hot pot of boiling water, or <laughs> hot pot of water. All the chilies are going in. And then what I like to do is just take a bowl here and put it over the top just to kind of make sure that everything stays submerged. Those should take about 15 to 20 minutes as well, maybe a little bit longer, depends. We'll see once the uh, tomatillos are done boiling. Uh, we'll see what these look like when that's done and maybe we can get everything going at the same time. In the meantime, I'm just gonna keep turning the garlic and onion and uh, just so it doesn't burn, we'll get a nice char everywhere. We'll get that peeled and we'll get this going. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes now. Uh, as you can see, the onion, oh, a little leaky here, <laughs> is nice and charred. That's exactly what you want. Uh, you're going to hear me say this a ton, but, you know, browning equals flavor. So that's the reason we do this. You get a little char, adds just a ton of flavor to it. The uh, garlic looks pretty much just as crispy. But that's just the husk. Once you get that off, it's going to give it a nice, like, roasted garlic feel to it. And now for the tomatillos. The tomatillos, they kind of fall apart they're a little squishy but it's okay because they're all going in the uh, food processor processor anyway here so you just kind of want to be gentle pulling these out so you don't break them up too much probably could have gone a couple minutes shorter just so they're not quite as soggy but you know we live and learn and any added little liquid that comes in here is just going to be all the better in this salsa as well kind of a better idea of what it looks like it's got like a nice olive color to it uh, and these just kind of add that base for the salsa. 
And now for the, you know, main ingredient here, the chilies. These are nice and uh, hot still, so be careful, but they're definitely a lot more reconstituted, a little bit more pliable. We'll cut, we'll cut the stems off these. We'll get everything shoved in the food processor. We'll see you over there in just a minute. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let's get these stems cut off. I mean, all you're really doing is just getting the you know, chunky part off. These are all gonna go in. A lot of these are gonna be now filled with water, the juice from that's been simmering in that. I like to try and save it and keep it into the food processor uh, processor as well. Geez, why can't I say that today? Um, I like to say that I, it just adds a little bit more liquid to blend. We're also adding, you can do that now, I guess, uh, two tablespoons, maybe even closer to a quarter cup of the, the juice that was, uh, or the water that was reconstituting these peppers. Um, just helps with the uh, blending a little bit, but adds a little bit of flavor as well since they've been soaking in that. We'll get these all cut up in here. All right, so that's done. Now we got the uh, onion here. You got a ton of char on this, so we're just gonna cut the edges off. A lot of the husk kind of burnt off as it was roasting, but we'll take this last little piece here just so it's not too crispy. I actually cut it a little bit more so it blends easier. That all goes in. And then we just need to de-peel these, uh, or <laughs> de-peel. <laughs> we just need to peel these uh, garlics here. And these are gonna be so roasty and add just so much flavor to it. it kind of mellows out the garlic roast in it like this too. It's not quite as, you know, strong. All right, that's in. We've got our bowl of tomatillos, a couple of our bowls still left in there. All that with the juices are going in. And I just realized my food process is on backwards. Let's get this thing flipped around here. All right. Uh, juice, one half lime just for a little freshness, you know? And then we're also doing that bunch, uh, bushel of cilantro I'd mentioned, which also, you wanna do this at the end, obviously, because fresh herbs always go in at the end, they keep that, they retain that freshness that way. And uh, two tablespoons of pink Himalayan salt goes in. That's all there is to it. Let's get this thing blended. stop this really quick just so I can say the dehydrated chilies are going to take a while to blend so we're going to let this thing run for just a little bit uh, we'll see you guys as soon as this is done looks about done time to give this thing a try obviously it's still hot right now because everything we did was all on the stove so your salsa is going to be a little bit hot um, it's actually still kind of steaming here so hopefully it's not too hot But that flavor, unlike any other salsa you will have, I guarantee it. Um, put it in a jar, put it in the fridge, let it sit, you know, overnight is best. Uh, that way everything kind of, you know, comes together. A couple hours, maybe even an hour beforehand, it should cool down enough to where you can serve it. You guys are not going to be disappointed with this. This is great on everything, nachos, burritos, steak, whatever you want, um, or just keep dipping chips in it like I'm going to. So uh, thanks again for showing up. Please don't forget to subscribe, uh, thumbs up. Any comments you guys are willing to give, more than appreciated. We will see you guys next time. Cheers.